All right, this will be an update on the uh, Chicago Bears in alternate uniforms project. Um, these may still be a little wet, so I want to be very careful with these. It may not look like I've done a lot of work on these since the last time you saw them, but the fact is I have. We've got shoes, socks, and tights uh, on these now. And uh, if you can't tell, that is orange. That is not um, red. Well, it looks even more red to me with without the light on, but it's lava orange, which is uh, Tudor's match for the orange in a Chicago Bears uh, uniform. Um, you'll see this color again up on the jerseys. Uh, that's what the color of the jerseys will be on these. Uh, think back to 2004, think back to the 60s when the Bears had an orange jersey. Uh, that's what we're uh, sporting here for an alternate uniform. I decided to opt for black shoes on this group. And now I understand completely why Tudor paints all their figures with white shoes and white socks. It's, it's, it's a little fiddly. It's a little tough to get the right shape. Now, I over-exaggerated I over the shape of the shoes on this figure. None of the others will have this amount of you know, high, high tops on the back here and the, the tongue sticking up in the front. But... Um, now, uh, as far as the socks, uh, I'm not going to try to put any sort of stripes on the socks. You know, the Chicago Bears socks famously have an orange and blue stripe on them. Uh, but with this project, with these figures, and I just noticed there's a bunch of paint missing right there on the face. I must have worn off with my thumb. Might have just done it or something. Uh, no problem. I, I can fix that here in just a few moments. Um, for this project, uh, I'll be applying blue stripes to these orange tights. Uh, there's no way I can get as many on there as I want to. Um, I, I mean, I could extend the uh, uh, tights lower on the socks there, but I am adhering to a natural border in the molds of these figures. That's pretty visible when you're uh, looking at these with, you know, two halogen lights and, and uh, reading glasses. Um, so, you know, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do at least three blue stripes on these, which will actually give you five orange stripes. That's the way to look at it. Um, but that's what we're, we're rolling with on these. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not too concerned about smooth, straight lines down here on the legs because that wouldn't look right. That wouldn't look right in real life. So uh, I was just more concerned about... Uh, uh, cleanliness, and I think I have achieved that as good as I can achieve. Um, I don't know that I'll be doing much more uh, uh, cleanup, uh, uh, well, except for the up here on top here. You know, I'm going to paint the the pantaloons white, so um, that will, we'll have to do some touch up work there between the orange and the white. All right, let's move on here. Got to repaint that guy's nose. Not sure what happened. I probably rubbed it off with my thumb. Uh, we'll have to take the uh, light off for this one, at least just for a moment anyway. Actually, for what we're dealing with, let's leave the light on. It obscures the uh, the lighter skin flesh tones. But, uh, yeah, on this one I didn't exaggerate the heel and the uh, uh, tongue of the shoe all that much. Um, it's really fiddly to do that. Uh, all the touch-up was done with toothpicks rather than paintbrush, but the first coats were all paintbrush. So you might feel like the socks are too long, and I should extend the, the tights down lower. But if I do that, I don't know if you can see it. Um, uh, there is a line built into these figures that delineates the sock from the tights. It's easy to see with a strong light up close. So I wanted to obey that line. If anything, maybe I can take the tights up a little higher on the pants. Not too much, though. Like right there, on his left leg there, I could extend that up a little higher. Probably should have done so, but uh, this will take several more passes to get right. This is still very, very early days on these figures. Okay, now I'll move on to... Those were the backer figures. Now we have the all-purpose figures. There's still some, and this is hard to get off. It looks like hair, but what it is in fact flash from the uh, plastic. And I'm gonna, if I had my tweezers out, I'd, I'd deal with this immediately. I'm trying to 
No, it's not going to come loose. It may be painted on there at this point. Well, we're just going to have to deal with that. What appears to be hair between his legs is actually plastic flash. Um, there we go. Those look pretty good. And, of course, I can see with a strong light there needs to be more paint on some of these. The orange paint takes several coats to get nice and clean. And I'm not sure why that is. Um, okay. But while it may look like I haven't accomplished much on this, I mean, that's some of the fiddliest work on these figures down there on the feet. Remember... On Tudor figures, the feet are an abstract concern anyway. Um, so I'm actually pretty happy with the results here. Um, now this is beginning to look orange to me in the camera. At first it looked really red. Um, don't worry too much about what you see up here. That's going to get it you know, retouched up once I get the, the, the pants painted white. Now you may say, well, they're white already. Why paint them? For consistency mainly. Um, this is just primer on them right now. I'd much rather have a couple of coats of white paint on them. Um, of course, there will be an orange stripe on the paint with bordered with uh, blue from a, a ultra fine point sharpie marker. If I can achieve that, if I can pull it off, I'd love to be able to pull that off. I think that looks so good. Um, I'm pretty happy with the boundaries between the feet and the uh, platforms. Can't always do it perfectly. Um, they, they do a good job on the machine-painted figures, but those are calibrated for that. You're dealing with shaky hands and the human equation otherwise. Now we'll move on to the sprinter figures, wide receivers and, and safeties. That's what I use them for. Yeah, these look okay. I could have put a little more tongue on that shoe there, but all said and done, I decided to leave it the way it was. Um, remember, these are an inch and a half tall, folks. Uh, these are tiny, and uh, obsessing over small details like that can suck a lot of the fun out of painting, at least for me. Um, so I'm actually really happy with it. Now there's a little flash on that leg that I cannot remove at this point. I could take my fingernail and scratch at it, but uh, or even a you know if, if I take a hobby knife to that, I'm just gonna have to go back and repaint it. If, if I don't make any major errors doing so. But from here up, it's it's pretty academic. It's just, you know, white pants, orange jersey, blue helmet. You know, you know there's no tiny details uh, to consider at that point. There will be a stripe on the pants. So there won't be a stripe on the helmet, but there will be two uh, Bears logos. And I've demonstrated how to pull that off in the past. No, no problems to paint those at all. Is the other sprinter. Yeah, I wish I was a little more paint on the heel, or the left heel back there. Or, no, it's not even the heel. The, the left arch of the foot or whatever back there, you can see it. Uh, maybe at some point. I, I Almost certainly I'll have to repaint the uh, platforms one more time. Uh, because, you know, the corners like to wear off where I hold the, the figures and stuff. But uh, otherwise... I'm okay with this for the moment. But now I understand my tutor rolls with white socks rather than black, sh or white shoes rather than black shoes. Now, in the past, you can find Tudor Fab Fives with black shoes. Um, I can confidently say that my job here is better than hand-painted figures from the, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and even the 90s, and even the turn of the century. It wasn't until they started doing uh, machine tooling or machine painting that, or robot painting or whatever you want to call it that uh, my work here begins to look a little amateur. Could use a little more paint on that leg, that tights leg. Um, and I, I'll do that with a brush. I'll probably just give the, once the, the legs are done, uh, the pants are done. I'll probably just take a, a coat of orange and one more time on the, uh, you know, on the bulk of the calves and the shins uh, with a paintbrush. And I'll, it'll take several coats on the jerseys. Well, there's some more of that flash that looks like hair. It's just little uh, slivers of plastic that was on this particular set of figures. 
little threads of plastic. Okay. So as predicted, the content for the month of July is it's a little less prolific as it was in June. I did anticipate that I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload it all next week. But I've got some videos in reserve to where this one you may not even see until the week after. So you know, every few days I'll continue to uh, put out some videos. Uh, by now you have already seen the full quarter of EFHL gameplay. And... Uh, uh, I may have already, by the time you see this, I may have already recorded the, uh, the EFHL preseason super show bonanza, whatever I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm still no unclear when gameplay is going to begin. Yeah, these look okay. I'm happy so far with these figures. No, no curveballs, no issues, nothing to, to, to give me pause. Um... The next step will just be white pants, and that's that's low stress uh, because that will take a few coats, so a couple days at least, and then we'll do the orange jerseys and the blue helmets, and then I'll probably uh, uh, let viewers see them again after that because it's always satisfying when you have paint covering the entire figure. The work is nowhere near done at that point because then it's all you know detailing and touch up and smoothing out boundaries between colors and things okay but some of the most fiddly work is done now need a little more orange paint there but like i said i'm just gonna give all these another coat man time flies when i'm uh, recording these kind of videos it never felt like 12 minutes but that's where we are Okay, so there you go. Um, shoes, socks, and tights. The next step will be pants, and that's the lower half of the figure completed. Um, other than the stripe and the detailing, the, uh, the blue uh, trim, uh, which will come last, probably after. Well, no, the the stripe will come before the shoulder stripes, but then the sharpie marker down on the uh, the legs. I don't want to smudge or smear anything which could happen with a sharpie marker, so I must be careful and cautious. But the next stage, painting the pantaloons, very low-key. Uh, and I will be using, as with uh, everything, this time it's Tudor paints. And uh, I am considering uh, uh, not using a black face mask. I might roll with a, a white face mask, if I can find any uh, indication that that's what the uh, bears used in the past. At, at any point. We'll just have to see how that looks and how I feel about it. Now, I do need to experiment at some point with white face masks because my pro next project after this, uh, those figures haven't arrived yet, is going to be a, a set of B-nut figures, uh, and I'm going to paint them up as the Tennessee Volunteers, something that's, you know, always been part of my plans since I started painting figures. That's always been on the list of, of figures to paint, and I, this time I've opted for the B-nut figures, and I'll be using a mix of Tudor and Apple Barrel paints on those. And uh, I'm, I'm, the reason I say that is because I'm pretty sure I will need to use Tudor paints, Tudor white paint on the face mask rather than Apple Barrel white paint because the Apple Barrel white is much, much thicker than the Tudor white. Remember, we got that nice 3D textured chin strap and towel on that um, Pittsburgh Steelers figure. Uh, we'll do some more of that, but for the face masks... Uh, I'm probably going to use white paint, white Tudor paint rather than apple barrel paint. And we'll just have to see what kind of uh, face mask that I use on the uh, Bears paint. I, uh, the, this Bears team, I am planning to roll with uh, throwback masks because I've got so many on the, uh, you know, two or three trees. That that's all that's on the trees and uh, face masks in my toolbox. Might as well just use them and, and, and get those out of the, the toolbox. And make room for other things. Well, I thank you so much for watching this one. Uh, this is a fun project so far. Uh, I'm looking forward to... I'm hopeful this one's going to turn out real well. And thanks for uh, joining me on the journey. I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.